Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Chef Lunatic, and today we are doing fried catfish and grits for brunch for my lovely sister's birthday. I'm going to start off with three and a half pounds of catfish, okay? Rinsed and dried, and we're going to season on one side only, starting off with ground black pepper. And next we are going to use some cayenne pepper, of course. I like a little bit of heat added to my fish. Not too much. You don't want it it's crazy spicy. Just a little kick. Just a little teaser. Paprika to add a little more color once you fry the fish. It just looks really pretty. Onion powder, of course. That is a staple. We got to get our onion powder as well as garlic powder. It's another one of our staples in our house. I'm going to season that right over. Nice coating over one side. That's it. And now we have our seafood which is Biscayne Bay from Badia. It's really good. I have not compared it to Obey, but it does its thing. I wanted an extra kick, so I add a little bit of Cajun season. Not too much, because you don't want it too salty. And then I use a little bit of Sasson, the salt-free version, yeah? Mm-hmm, salt-free, so you can still get that taste. Next step, we are going to take all of the fillets that are now seasoned on one side, you can see it. I'm going to put mustard in the stainless steel bowl. I started at the bottom, and then I fill it up with all the fish. If I have more gloves than a handful, I'm going to add a little more mustard. So roughly about a quarter to a third cup of mustard used to coat the fish because it's going to be used as a binder. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to mix it up with our hands. That's why we wear gloves. So you still have to wash your hands, but it just it's less mess underneath your fingernails. You got a little bit of fingernails. Less mess on your hands. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take it and coat it. I just buy a brand called Fish Fry, Louisiana Fish Fry from a grocery store out of the bread aisle with all like the panko bread crumbs, the Italian bread crumbs. It's on that same section. You can make your own with like cornmeal, flour, cornstarch. I used to do that for other fish, but for my catfish, I keep it simple with the fish fry. And it's like a dollar ninety nine, dollar seventy nine. I didn't even use a whole package for three pounds. You see it's perfectly coated, thanks to the mustard. We're going to lay it down in our skillet, which is at medium heat now. I did use Crisco shortening because we ran out of oil and I did not feel like getting up early in the morning and running to the grocery store. So use what you got. And I probably fit about four pieces of catfish in here in my pan. You can see it's bubbling. It's perfect. It's cooking perfect. That's what you want. You want that, you want that pan to get hot. Okay? You want that temperature to be even all over. That's why I'll forever be team cast iron, okay? Mm -hmm. Lay it on thick. Lay it on thick and, you know, look at it. Just just get a close look. Slow and steady and then it cooks fast. But I like my fish kind of like fried hard, so maybe 10 minutes. You watch it and you'll see it. You'll see the color change and you'll see the fish begin to float so you know when it's done. Alright, I have my mixture for my grits this is about four cups of chicken stock chicken broth really i use the bouillon season but it's the same thing then i add two cups of half and half and i just add it before the water gets too hot because it's going to be slowly brought to a boil you do not want the water too hot otherwise your half and half or your milk product will like curdle and that's about a cup and a half of grits <laughs> i made a huge pot and the fish still cooking, still looking lovely, per usual. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add us a nice stick of butter in there, salted butter, of course. You can do unsalted. You really don't need salt, but I just love butter in my grits. Like, if my grits are not buttery, I do not want them. You can keep them. You can keep them. And you see the fish starting to that pretty color. It's like brown, okay? And forget a golden. I don't even know what golden brown is. I, I guess that would be it, but this looks a little bit darker than golden to me. Mm. If you can move it, flip it over, and it doesn't like fall apart, then you know it's like the outside coating is perfectly connected along the fish. When it's if it's falling off, you, it's it's you, you, it's not done. You, you, you pull it out too soon. You don't want to be too rough with the fish because it still is delicate, even as a tougher fish. And I'm stirring my grits up. Once you get that water to boil, you want to put your grits in there. And then you're going to take it down to a simmer. So I'm basically just stirring in there, getting it from the bottom. Don't want it to get too hot because the milk can still burn at the bottom. And just look at that butter. Look at the butter just marbling through the grits. 
and it's real creamy. <laughs> it is. Ugh. It's the best pot of grits I ever made. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> now you see the fish. This is what it should look like when it is done. Out your pot. Okay. Let that grease drip. And I put it on a cooling rack so that excess grease could drop off and it's not just sitting in its grease. You know, we like to put our fried stuff on newspapers and paper towels. But on that rack, it does better and it keeps its form. And we're still mixing the grits up. Gotta have a little bit of patience. It says five minutes, but I think like 10 or 15 minutes. The longer you cook the grits and slower, the more perfect they come up because they're always gonna be gritty. And here we are about to plate our food. I add cheese. I think that's a Mexican mix. It's like three or four cheeses. I'm gonna give a nice little pull. Look at, look at the grits just dripping onto that bowl. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. But if you had, if you like grits, I promise you love my grits. That's all I'm saying. We're going to lay our nice couple of pieces of catfish on there. Getting our bowl ready. And it's still piping hot. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take a little bit of this. Uh, going to garnish it, of course. Per usual. Got a little bit of parsley. We're going to sprinkle that on top. We, you know, we love the hell out of some parsley. That's for sure. And then this is our final look. Look at that. <sighs> snapshot, snapshot. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in and please follow for more.